Good morning, beautiful people. So I've had this conversation, let's say a couple of times. I've done some tests scientifically or not, not really, of course, but with tension lines. And my conclusion is the figure of eight is easier to undo after loading than a figure of nine knot. So today I decided to actually test it out. So what we got is we got this barrel. That's a 200 kg barrel filled with water. I've got the little enforcer out and I'm gonna lift it up. Uh, put a piece of rope in with a figure of nine and a figure of eight knot. Lift the barrel, bounce it up a little bit. See what forces we get. And then I'll switch it around so that nobody can complain while well, the figure of nine was at the top and it's a better place or a worse place. You know what I mean? That's one. And I'm gonna do it with a couple of ropes and then we'll see which knot is easier to untie. Let's do it. Another one of those little things. Let's see, because this cow tail has been on my harness for quite some time and I will undo it. I've loaded it, loaded it and loaded it. It's been on there for, I got that maybe two years ago. So it's been on there for quite some time. Let's see how hard it is to undo a figure of eight knot. It's already moving, first go. Let's see if it was tied properly. Yeah, it was, it was tied properly. So as you can see, that was not really hard at all. It took me, I don't know, 30 seconds. And I had to see if I tied it properly, but I think it was like the improper way to it. But anyway, it went out easy. All right, time to put a new cow tool on my harness. All right, so we just did a test rappel, a test descent uh, to see how much force you can generate if you're being really clumsy or a stupid idiot and you just keep pulling on the handle like this and we had the enforcer up there and it gave us a maximum of 226 kilograms so i'll reset that now and then we gonna lift this up this is a barrel with about 200 220 kilos of water in there so i'm gonna lift it up What we have here is a ancient cow tail. So it's a dynamic piece of rope. It's like 10 years old. Uh, I have a figure of nine tied here, a figure of eight tied here, and I this one is tied the proper way, and this one is tied the proper way as well. So let's lift it up. And it's up, and can we see? So we have 230 kilos in it right now. Let's put some more in. Ooh. Let's see what the max was right now. Let's see, 480 kilos. <laughs> so we had a max of 482 kilos, which is double of what we generate if we're being really clumsy. 
I don't think we will get these nuts out. I'll start the timer. All right, let's start with the eight. So it looks like this right now. And let's see if we can undo it. Fairly easy. The figure of nine knot, which looks tighter and more squeezed. Let's see if I can get it out. And if it's just as easy. I'm not acting this. I'm telling you, a figure of eight is easier to undo than a fucking figure of nine. So I'm already fed up with this. So you could see which knot was easier to untie. Because this one is not moving at all. All right, that's one. We have one, two, three, four more tests to go. So we just did the first rope. And uh, while resetting the other ropes and getting the knots ready, Constantly somebody has been trying to like this and it's still in there, but we got a maximum force of 480 kilograms, which is more than what you would generate working normally, but might be comparable to have like a week long of cyclical loading on a knot. So we're going to keep doing just about the same thing. So I have a properly tied figure of eight at the bottom, a properly tied figure of nine at the top. We put some weight in it. And again, this is 236 kilograms. I will add a little bit less than the previous one, I think. Something like this, let's see what we get. It's still already 300, 370 kilograms. So now I'm going to lower it and turn it around so that both knots have been on the top and at the bottom. Yeah. 390 kilos. So here's the proof, 390. Yeah, have you? All right, let's start with the figure of nine. This is what it looks like now. Looks pretty tight. I'll start on this end. get it it's so tight all right I'll take a little break on this one and move to the figure of eight knot because I have this hunch that it might be a bit easier but I'm not sure but Unfortunately, or fortunately for me, figure eight is already done. I will continue with the figure of nine. But again, I think I'm going to give up because why would I continue? All right, on to the next knots. Reset it, the Rock Exotica Enforcer, two new knots, a figure of eight, which is loaded improperly, still properly, but you will see. Uh, figure of nine is also the wrong way around. So here we go. 234. 380. That's what we had on the previous one as well. 378. Cyclical loading up and down all day. Oh, so dangerous this job. 
Okay. This is going to be different. So we got a max of 402 kilograms on the nuts. And let's start with the figure of 8 again. This is what it looks like and you see it looks a bit different over here, but let's see if, it, if I can undo it. It's moving, I can feel it. But definitely harder. Definitely harder. I'm going to give up on this one and move to the figure of 9, which looks like this. Might actually be easier this time. Or not. That's not moving. Let's move back to the figure of eight. I really want it to come out because I'm sort of biased. But we're not using hammers and screwdrivers, are we? Because we never do. So there you have it. I don't know, I didn't count the time, but I can see while editing maybe. It's been about a minute each, I think. I have a feeling if I really try, this one might come out. This one, it still feels too, still feels too much. Hardly any movement. There is some movement here. This one. I will leave this for now, rest my hands. We're gonna have a go at this later. Let's continue with a, a newer rope. This rope, what we're gonna use now is from two, it's a year old. So, brand new basically. But I think they might not be happy with me after we are done because it might be shorter when we finish. All right, let's try it. On to the next rope. So we have our beautiful Bayal Industry rope. It's about a year old, 11 millimeters. I have a figure of nine at the top, figure of eight at the bottom. Swinging in from the side, nice. Three hundred and seventy. Put a little bit of cyclical loading on it. Not that much. Alright. So max force that registered is three hundred and 370 kilograms. Now let's see, let's start. I will start with my favorite, the figure of eight.
it's moving, it's moving. I will get it. That's one, but here we go. Figure of nine. Start the clock. Feels like there's a little bit of movement. So normally I would resort to getting edges involved and other things involved to really break the knot. But then again, you saw what I did with the figure of eight. I did not have to do that. So I'm gonna keep trying it like this. Little break, I tell you how to open a knot that's really tight. If you tie a figure of eight knot, and the same goes for a figure of nine, if it's tight, you actually try to sort of pull it, o pull it over its head. In Dutch we say over the kop trekken. So you fold it over and then you go like this and this, and then you go to the other side, you fold it over, squeeze it real tight here, and then you go like this and this. And that might be millimeters in the beginning, but if you keep doing that, you will get the knot out usually. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm really trying to fold this over as tight as possible and then push it that way. And that one seems to be, it has moved a little bit. So we switch to the other side of the knot. I really try to squeeze it and then pull it over. The thing is with the figure of nine, because of the extra twist, it gets, it tightens itself on this side more than with the figure of eight. It sort of locks onto itself, but it's definitely moving. But then again, I can get this one out. I will get it out because we have to put the rope back. Um, but then again, the figure eight of eight is already out. So these were improperly tight or still properly tight figure of eight and nine, but there's a wrong and a right way to do it, which I will explain later. So we move to the last test. Bell Industry, 11 millimeters, one year old. I have a properly tied figure of nine at the top, a properly tied figure of eight at the bottom. So let's lift it up. Here we go. 230 kilos. Oh, no. Bring them up. 350. Oh, 406. That's more. All right, let's turn. Okay. 
436 kilograms. I think we had 480 with the dynamic rope. So this is the most we put in a static rope. And let's see how easy or how hard it is to undo. I will start with the figure of nine and then I'll use all my strength in this one and whatever is left I'll use for the figure of eight. So we fold it over. Oh, it's moving. But this one. <laughs> this is like solid. Timelapse dit gewoon. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was my finger. I get one. Should I take it out or not? That's the question. So we have one loose loop. But if this would be a figure of eight, I would be able to pull it out. But I can't because it has an extra twist because of the nine. The other side maybe. Not that I can see. moving. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It's moving. <sighs> wow. So that's the first one of the figure of nine that actually came out. So now on to the figure of eight. One, two. So you tell me what is easier. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to always be notified of new content when I release these myth busting videos, All right? One more thing. This piece of rope with the permanent figure of nine in it was sponsored by Industrial Klimme, beautiful training center, right just above Amsterdam in uh, the Netherlands. Industrial Klimme provides all kinds of working at heights training. You can come here for your Arata training, your GWO training, or your basic safety working at heights or any training in between. If you want to buy this great rope, Bale Industry 11 millimeters with a permanent figure of nine in it, you can visit the web store, order with the link below. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. In closing for today, I have to do this. I'm sorry for all the people who are the figure of nine fans. I've been saying it for ever since I've heard about the figure of nine. And the figure of eight is easier to untie. You saw the video and we've been filming all day. We're about, I don't know, eight hours later right now. We've been trying in between all the takes to undo the figure of nines in the ancient rope I had here. And this is how far we got. So we got one loop out, that's good. And well, not so good. So that means, after all the work, a figure of eight is easier to untie. Especially when you dress it properly. So that's the moral of the story. See you later.